Welcome to this session on creating a short sim. Now, I'll explain what the simulation is all about. It'll kind of reveal itself as we progress through it. But essentially, this is going to be a, a demo short sim on giving feedback. Now, I use the term short sim because that's a term that Clark Aldridge coined in his book on short sims, but we know these things uh, through a variety of names. For example, a simple sim or simple decision-making scenario. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to, the learner will play the role of a manager and the manager will meet with an employee and uh, provide feedback to that employee. But Let's see how that all kind of unfolds as we develop this simulation. So the first thing we're going to do is create a, a title page. And we'll use an SVG graphic for our title. So I'll click on SVG and then type in, I'll call this a feedback challenge. Okay, and I can either just boost up, you know, change the font size here or grab this expand it i'll fit the content and then save the page now i'll click on the graphic again and choose 90 percent. i want it to be responsive so i want it to cover 90 percent of the screen and we're done with this page we'll click the plus to give us a new page and in this new page We'll introduce our character. Uh, we'll call her Amy. So let's, now we can bring in a character. You can click on the image tool and then get image, simply point that to a folder and grab uh, from a character pack that you might have in a folder or a simple character. We do have some characters built in the tool. I'll choose tools and characters. I'll go ahead and download more characters. Uh, I do want to choose this character, but just so that I have some options, so that you can clearly see that I have some options, I'll download more characters. Now in the future, uh, more character packs will be added. So we're almost done downloading our characters, but We'll certainly choose her and we'll call her Amy. So let's grab this character and let's find a good pose to start with. Kind of a happy pose because we haven't made any mistakes yet. So we'll kind of make her, here we go. She's cupping her hands, she's positive. There she is. And we'll align her. I'll click on her and align her to the left. And then so that you understand what this scenario is all about, let's go ahead and introduce Amy, our character. First of all, I'll format this, change. So Amy is an enthusiastic new addition to our audit and assurance department. This is a public accounting firm as an audit assurance department. Amy has learned a lot in her short time with the department, but she often asks the same questions at audit engagements. She poses the same questions, not only to the auditor in charge of the engagement, but also to the clients. We're gonna give her some feedback. We'll go ahead and make sure that we title our page. Let's add a page. Now this is the learner, the learner who's playing the role of the manager. That's so the learner is an audit manager. The learner is Amy's direct supervisor. So 
you are you as the learner are Amy's direct supervisor and meet with her one-on-one -on, -one on a regular basis. You've asked Amy to swing by your office. You haven't mentioned anything about her behavior or your intention to give her feedback. So think about how you'd give Amy feedback. Select the right things to say that represent best practices for providing feedback. What Amy says appears at the top. You're then given three choices on what to say. Pick the best choice. Now we'll add a page, but we'll change that page to an interview type. Now an interview allows you to create a short sim. It gives you a form. Uh, you can create a short sim uh, free form. So this guides you and sets up the uh, what the character says and responses, lays that out on a screen, but you could definitely do this free form on a text page. Now what I'll do is I'll, I'll right click and get our character poses. And I'm just gonna scroll down looking for a good character pose here. Let's see. Got a lot of choices. Ooh. Okay, we'll choose this one. There she is. And this is what she has to say. I saw your email that you wanted to see me. Here I am. And what we'll do is provide some responses. Now, this will be the best response. Thanks, Amy. I wanted to give you some feedback on your la last audit engagement. Is this a good time? So you're asking permission of the employee to give feedback, which is good practice. Because, you know, if it's not a great time, she can come back and she'll be better prepared to receive the feedback rather than surprised. Um, here's a less than stellar response. I need to give you some feedback on your last audit engagement. Here it goes. No permission. So we're going to give that fewer points. This is all relative. This is somewhat arbitrary too. I, I decided that the best response is 10 points. The second best response is worth five. And then the, the terrible response, I'll give one point or zero but I'll, I'll provide a point. Now you, you can arrange this any way that you want, weight this in any way that you want. And then of course I'll provide an ID for this page. This is scenario one. This is what she says. These are our responses. And we'll see that played out in a minute. Let's, let's just add a couple of more here. We'll bring in, again, right-click, get the character, choose the right character. And let's see if we can find something. Uh, I'll make this somewhat neutral. This is what she says. And then we'll go ahead and provide the options. The, the best option. And we're indicating the best option just because it has the highest points. We don't necessarily need this. These will all be randomized anyway. So you typically put the best option on top. The mediocre option in the middle, give it fewer points. And then the terrible answer at the end. Uh, that's just my convention. But what you're indicating you're indicating the best option by the number of points. Okay, and we'll do one more. Hit the plus. I'll go back because I did not label my page. Right click, get character, choose the right character. Let's see what we can do here.
a lot of choices here. Oh, ever contemplate. I'll insert that. I'm going to turn around and flip this. I'll right click, choose crop, and I'll, I'll click to select the whole image. I just clicked here and then flip and crop. There we go. So she's contemplating her answer. I'm just trying to avoid mistakes. Our best response to that would be, yes, I understand you're trying to avoid mistakes. When you ask the same question of your coworkers and of your clients, they get the impression that you weren't listening the first time. In other words, the consequence of her behavior. That's what's being pointed out here. So we'll give that the best. And this is less than best because we're not pointing out the consequences of behavior. And then we can be just darn right offensive. Yes, I understand you're trying to avoid mistakes, but the repeated questions seems to be a pattern and shows a little carelessness on your part, not the greatest feedback. Now, let's, let's play that real quick, just to see what this looks like. I haven't done any, any fancy formatting here. This is kind of straight vanilla version right out of the box. There's Amy, then we meet you, and then here's her, what she's saying. And then of course we would indicate our answer. And this meter is an option. We can display this meter and it kind of gives immediate feedback. Um, so that's one way of doing it. Uh, there's a variety of ways that we can provide direct feedback. And I'll show you that. This is, this is one. And then I'll choose this and remove the needle a little bit. This is rather linear, but we can add a strategy that makes this interesting. The strategy is uh, giving the learner the opportunity of improving, improving his or her score or comp completing. Now, We'll pick that up in a second, but in terms of feedback, like for example, is this a good time? We could, we could provide feedback. We could say, great response. You are asking for permission to give feedback. So let's see that in play. I'll go ahead, preview, just to show you that what that looks like. So we could provide feedback for each of the options. We could do that in addition to the needle or the meter, or we could remove this entirely and then your feedback is exactly this. It's what you see as a pop-up. And again, to show you that, I chose the branch option, clicked on feedback, and then typed in my feedback here. And of course we could do that for each one of these. Now, when this learner is completely done, we want to report his or her score to the learning management system. We'll add a page and we'll change that to a report page. The report, this is the page that reports to the learning management system. Okay. Now we're gonna give we're gonna give the user a choice here. I'll just bring in, I'll bring in Amy. I'll do a right click and get the character. Okay. 
Now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the learner a couple of options. One is um, I'll just say, let's complete this interview. And that, then I'll branch to the report page as a result of that. Or or let's try this again. So thanks, let's complete the interview. Let's try this again to improve my score. Now, if we're going to complete the interview, we're going to branch to the report page. And then I'll display that message for three seconds. We'll display this message for three seconds and then jump to the report page. Now here, let's try this again to improve my score. We have to be able to reset the score. So in order to do that, we're gonna go back to where we described meet you. We're going to add a page after that, and we're going to make it a gate. We're going to turn this into a gate. And the whole purpose of the gate is to do exactly that, is reset this, reset this questions here. We could even reset the score. That, that would work out just fine, too. But I'm going to reset the questions. And... I'm going to allow the student to go down this branch, regardless of their score. So I always want everybody to go down this branch. This is the this is the branch that'll basically take us to the next page. The other part that we need to do is put in zero here, so everybody goes to this branch. Now let's indicate what that means. It means that we're going to go to the next page. So. The learner never sees this gate. They only see the consequences of the gate, which is to reset the questions so that they can try again. And then um, they then jump to the first interview question. Okay. So that's what this is all about. And we'll call this starting gate. And we could even see this under branches. We could even see under our branches view, we can see here's our slides and we hit the starting gate, which takes us to the first interview question. Got one more thing to do. I'll display pages. Let's, let's go to this. Thanks, this is the end. Thanks for the feedback. Thanks, let's complete this interview, which we filled out. Um, let's try this again to improve my score. Now we have to indicate that we want to jump to, and we can jump to the starting gate, which will reset the score and take us to automatically take us to the first slide. And the purpose of this page is for us to have a, for the learner to decide that their score is good enough and simply progress to the report page or try it, try it out, try it all over again. But we have to ensure that we put a zero in here so this doesn't count against us. So we'll put zero, zero and call this scene four. Now let's see what we get. A less than stellar.
Not doing too well. And here I have the opportunity of improving my score. I'll select that. I jump then to scene one. And this time I'll do a much better job. There's our feedback. Doing much better. Got a perfect score. And I'll go ahead and say, let's complete this interview. Taking us to the report page, interviews completed, and there we are. Perfect score, and that's what gets reported to the learning management system. So that concludes our short sim. Again, we use the interview page type, and that allowed us to put in a character, what the character says, and then our responses. So thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.